students prepare for a shared writing session by selecting and recording treasure words that they hear as journal entries are shared. They notice and comment on strategies that make the journal entries effective. The teacher models how to be a good listener and partner in the learning process. Then she records the words that the children have chosen. The students and teacher collaboratively write a descriptive piece about the moon using the treasure words. As Jillian's sharing, you're going to jot down on your post-it or in your writer's notebook some treasure words and phrases. Okay, so we can make one big shared piece at the end. Okay, Jillian, go ahead. Tonight I, today I see no moon, just stars, like always. It is so boring without the moon. I wonder how many stars are in space, but I do not think anyone will ever answer that question, ever. How can we see the moon during the day? The reason that we don't see the stars during the day is that the sky is too bright. The stars are still there, though. The moon is bright enough that we can see it during the day or night. Jillian, I'm very curious to know how you found that out. You had a question about not being able to see the stars during the day, and you actually answered it. So I'm really curious to know how you found that out. Um, well, I found it out on the internet, and I printed it off, and then I wrote it down in my moon journal. Tonight I go outside and look for the moon, but I just see the movie of stars all fishing for one piece of the most shining star of all, the moon. Wow. You need to read that again because that was just so beautiful. Tonight I go outside and look for the moon, but I just see the movie of stars all fishing for one piece of the most shining star of all. The moon. Wow, movie of stars fishing for the most shining star of all. Wow. You have a lot of poetry inside of you, Mackenzie. Okay, Michaela, go ahead. Thursday, January 21st, 2010, 8.30 p.m. Tonight I see stars and a shimmering half moon. The stars look like fire in a candle. The moon looks like a bunch of yellow tulips. Mm. Friday, January 22nd, 2010, 6.30 a.m. I see beautiful sunrise. It has blue at the top, purple below, and to top it up, pink right near the sun. I wrote it two different times. I also am writing down treasure words and phrases to share with the, the class afterwards in our shared writing piece. I liked how she did that two different times, not just one. Mm -hmm. That was very creative. Yeah. Yeah. I like how she used descriptive words. She really painted a picture in our minds, didn't she? Yes. What, what words did you really like? I like the word shimmering and the um, sentence, and to wrap it up. And to wrap it up, yeah. It was almost like the whole sky is wrapped up in this pink ribbon that you were talking about. <laughs> It's beautiful, very good imagery for all of us. Tonight there are tons of stars shining in the night sky, and they shine like a golden brick in the darkness of the night. Dang. And the feeling in the cold, in the cold, like a feels like a wave hitting my face. Can you read that last part again about the wave hitting your face? The feeling in the cold feels like a wave hitting my face. Oh, the feeling in the cold. Okay. Do you think, boys and girls, we have a lot of treasure words? Have you collected enough treasure words that we can make a shared piece now? Yeah. Okay, so let's just go onto the perimeter of the carpet and we'll create a shared piece. You really have to go. So what were some of the words and phrases that you collected that we could add to our treasure words chart? Um, Michaela said the, um, the stars look like yellow tulips. Yes, I wrote that one down too. The stars. I like yellow tulips. Reminds me of what Mrs. Morrow was talking about using similes and metaphors, right? So the stars are like something else, like yellow tulips. I like how um, Carter said that, oh, like a wave hitting against my face. 
You could really feel it, yeah. couldn't you? It's like cold air right against your face. Yeah. Uh, a wave hitting your face. Kobe, what do you think? A movie of stars, what Max said. Yeah, a movie <coughs> of stars. Okay. Adam. When you listen to the wind blowing, it sounds like um, an ocean. Wind is like the ocean. Wow. Fishing for the most shining star of all. Hmm. We're going to combine all our great ideas into one shared piece for our bulletin board outside. Okay, now, uh, Mackenzie had a, had a great idea. So what do you think if we create our shared piece around Mackenzie's question of, is the moon a star? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. okay, so what should our title be? If the moon is a star. Oh, if the moon were a star, or is, is the moon a star? star? Is it true that the moon is a star? Wow, lots looks like of good a ideas. Keep that. Keep that in your mind, okay? Because we can use that in our piece. So.